Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here at the top of Mount Chiliad for some more downhill chaos. The first vehicle today is the DeLorean that uh, actually kind of spits fire, which it probably should. I actually saw DeLorean in real life a couple of days ago. Very bizarre thing to see uh, driving around on the road. Uh, anyway, chucking this one down, uh, down Chile is surprisingly fast accelerating this car. However, things go quite wrong quite quickly as I slightly lose the back end end up face planting a rock and well the damage is is quite amped up on on this vehicle it does take some uh, some seriously heavy damage when things go wrong so missing the braking running a little bit wide try to save it can't slow it down in time fall off the course and you can see the amount of damage done to this uh, to this vehicle it, it, it takes an absolute beating down this course. I managed to slightly run over a rock and you see all the damage is done to the back of the car here already before things go wrong. Again, just out breaking myself a little bit too much, running up the wall, flipping the car around. It's not very DeLorean shaped and Michael's head is kind of, uh, yeah, sticking out of the... It wouldn't be the most comfortable position to, uh, <laughs> to find yourself in there, most certainly. It's uh, yeah, it takes uh, takes an awful lot of damage. This uh, this vehicle, as I said, is surprisingly quick accelerating. So I was uh, getting caught out by the uh, by the brake. The brakes aren't too bad. I was just getting caught out by not expecting it to be going anywhere near as fast as it actually does. This time it's a big big tumble down the mountain. You can see how bent up the front of the car has uh, got as it twists and rolls before uh, eventually coming to uh, a rest. It's. Uh, yeah, kind of uh, quite a lot of squished car <laughs> down there. You got some very interesting shaped DeLoreans with uh, some of the the big accidents down this uh, down this course. Suspension on the most part was uh, pretty good, but like most cars we've seen, you push your luck too much down there. It just kind of gets a little bit of a bounce up on the landing, and you carry so much speed down that section that uh, it is easy for things to go wrong. And I tried to get the car back under control, was doing a terrible job. I had no idea how many rotations I managed to do coming down there. And did another one for good luck uh, further down. I'm not sure if it was a bump or a bush or something. Put it around again. That was, uh, yeah, many, many rotations. Slightly sliding off the mountain, running too wide through that uh, first corner is not likely to end well, couldn't quite get away with it. I sort of took the jump on two wheels and that was always always a recipe for disaster as once again we're tumbling down the mountain and tumbling down the mountain backwards is not, uh, not a particularly good idea, very easy to have the car explode with the uh, engine and so on all being in the back. Still it goes tumbling, still it's become a rather interesting shape and uh, then there's some fire as well. Not sure how it managed to do it, but yeah, the the DeLorean is uh, slightly set on fire in uh, in that one. Yeah, the the damage was uh, was quite impressive. That's emphasised by some hikers getting in the way. Normally, not too much of a problem. They seriously slow the car down, and then I notice that really, <laughs> it, I think they made the DeLorean out of paper. Perhaps that's look at the damage on the front of that. The bent up bonnet is quite uh, really really quite impressive. As we come down the the bottom of the course, was starting to get the hang of this car, get it through the bush, and just couldn't quite get it gather it all back together in time as it goes from one side to the other. I was trying to fight it for control, uh, eventually coming to a rest. I didn't have a huge accident that time out, but uh, yeah, that was indeed the uh, ruin run ruined. Sorry. Uh, so on to the, uh, the the completed run for this car. It took a little bit of time to uh, to get the hang of it. It was yeah, surprisingly fast. The DeLorean was notorious for being incredibly, incredibly slow. Uh, but this uh, this mod for a GTA, it's, it's got some pretty decent speed about it uh, going down this course. Not that, you know, you can't really use a huge amount of the speed because of the, the tightness of the course, but uh, the acceleration was pretty good in this vehicle. The brakes weren't too bad either, and certainly it was a, a fun enough car to drive. The handling was pretty good. It was a little too oversteery, perhaps, for the, uh, for the course, and the damage meant you had to be really careful. It meant you couldn't really push the car too hard through any of these corners. All it took was you know, a slightest of nudge somewhere. And while you might get away with it in most cars on this, it's going to absolutely ruin the vehicle. So yeah, there was a certain amount of caution 
was uh, having to be uh, to be used down here, especially when it came to these big jumps. Often uh, I'll have cars, or I'll sometimes have cars, where you d I deliberately kind of put the nose into the floor to try and slow it down or whatever. On this, you can't do it because you do that, you're going to end up breaking something spectacularly. So yeah, had to be had to be a little bit careful in in places, and it didn't particularly like this run down towards the second to last corner. The back end was uh, a little bit too wiggly for all of uh, that but it made it through okay with a bit of a slide as we come around the uh, final corner and launch the DeLorean across the line tried to aim it between the trees didn't work and now the car is uh, is weathered truly ruined. There's a little bit of a weird glitch with the uh, with the bonnet texture you'll see from time to time I think on the wing mirrors as well um, and the DeLorean is uh, arrested in a ditch. Yeah, um, an interesting, interesting car to drive. Certainly, the damage is uh, spectacular. Looking so with the uh, with, <laughs> with the well, he's not really very DeLorean shaped anymore. But uh, yeah, it was. It certainly wasn't too bad of a car. It dealt with the bumps of the course. It had good enough brakes and so on. Pretty sure. Is there an exhaust at the top? I'm not. Don't know. It was. Uh, yeah, very broken by the end of that one. Up next is a bike. It is a. It's a bike mod. There's quite a few of these I've seen around. Thought it was about time I had a go with it. This is a Honda CBR 1000 RR. I think I've remembered the uh, the name correctly. I don't know a huge thing. A huge huge amount about bikes, but I do know that going down Chile at the motorbikes are really very very fast and uh, it's so fast that when things go wrong they go really spectacularly wrong as uh, demonstrated that yeah that's uh, 100 mile an hour splat into the wall the thing with the bikes is they have got humongous acceleration phenomenal brakes and can turn very very quickly sometimes that turning can be a problem they can be a little too twitchy or like me you can try and be a bit too greedy with the power and try and sort of floor it down there didn't didn't work at all as uh, again <laughs> Michael goes soaring off the mountain yeah not what you want to be doing you can see the speed that you can try and take almost get away with it I mean that is ridiculous speed probably twice the speed you take in a car down down that part that uh, couldn't quite pull it up in time was just asking a little bit too much of the uh, the bike but again once it falls off the mountain the brakes are so phenomenal that if you can keep it on the on the ground you can get it stopped i was again pushing it seeing what the bike could do and that was a little bit too much again taking all of that huge amount of speed over the jump <laughs> find a tree and the uh, the bike goes flying michael's fine michael survived that one there that was a pretty hefty impact into a tree as well but uh, no he's uh, he's okay with uh, with that a little bit slower next time around kind of did the trick as again try to cast 80 miles an hour down there nothing else goes that quickly unfortunately even the bikes can't quite get stopped one thing that we do often see with the bikes is that if it starts bouncing then uh, you're going to have real, real trouble because it goes so fast. The second it starts getting airborne, it's going so super qu quick down here that uh, it kind of reduces the braking zone to, well, often to, often to zero because it will just launch itself straight off the course. And of course, well, once we've got the wheels slightly off the ground, well, we're not going to be having any braking. So, yeah, you've got to be very, very careful with the, uh, with the motorbikes. It's very easy for things to go wrong at incredibly high speeds. But when things do go right... As you can see already on this run here, uh, yeah, it's they're, they're nigh on unbeatable because of the speed. I mean, the, the brakes and the grip that you can take, well, that was stupid cornering speed, stupidly late braking through there, and the bike is absolutely fine with all of it as we come down through this next section. I mean, you've still got to be careful. You cannot run flat out all the way down here with this. You know, you've still got to be aware of braking zones and so on. It's just uh, you're often going a hell of a lot faster coming into them and you can brake later than anything else. So you can be flat out all the way down here. A little bit of a brake for this next turn again. Pick up a huge amount of speed. A little dab on the brakes, but that's still a lot of speed. Over the jump as we fire it down. This is side bit. Don't really have to worry about the bushes because, well, the bike's not going to get spun out by them down here. Around the second to last corner and it's dealing with all of the bumps perfectly well. Flat out around the final turn. And a jump across the line and then heavy on the brakes and the Honda still <laughs> gets stopped. Yeah, bikes uh, bikes are brutally fast is probably the best way of describing them. Going down at Chiliad, quite difficult to work with because they they can be very, very twitchy and there is just so much, so much grip available. You can really throw it through the corners. Quite a lot of fun when things go right. But uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of, uh, of getting used to, certainly. 
And uh, for our third and final vehicle, the hikers are still determined to uh, walk in front of the camera. The Lexus LFA is uh, going to tackle Mount Chile. I was going to wait. I got bored. They were ambling around far too much. So, uh, yeah, they can get run over by the Lexus. This is another very, very fast accelerating car. It's still a little bit of a shock when you go from driving a motorbike to driving a vehicle down here. You kind of just slightly get used to that speed and the brutality of the bikes. And then you go in a car. And this one's got the acceleration. Hasn't quite got the grips or the braking that, uh, <laughs> that you got with the uh, the Honda. Yeah, it doesn't get so It's good for a car, this thing. Don't get me wrong, it's very good for a car. But uh, going from the bike to this, yeah, it does feel quite, uh, quite underpowered in the braking zone, certainly. A little bit too much speed over the crest and uh, get the Lexus in all sorts of trouble. Uh, do manage to kind of recover it, but... Uh, yeah, trying to get it stopped into some of these uh, some of these bigger stops was uh, a little problematic. Already had some issues uh, with uh, clouting some rocks. The back end got a little bit wide, and then things are just all going wrong on uh, on that one there. Do spin the car around again, but uh, yeah, one little mistake early on kind of threw me off uh, for a couple of corners, and you're still fighting with the car as you take a jump, and that's never a good thing. You don't want to be fighting the car as you leave as you leave a ramp. That's uh, just asking for trouble, especially down that section coming up towards. Uh, the uh, the very fast jump may have got uh, may have got a little carried away with the speed kind of approaching it and uh, yeah took far too much speed couldn't actually slow the thing down before the jump where I wanted to so we go soaring off the mountain it was a bit of a shortcut to uh, <laughs> we got to the bottom with uh, yeah a slight detour never had quite such a clean run. Off of, uh, off of that course. Uh, having seen how much it slowed down the DeLorean, I was trying to avoid hikers on that part, but um, yeah, there is a nasty bump. If you dip a wheel too far over the edge, you can catch the bottom of the car. Uh, that's what wrecked the bottom of the DeLorean on one of the, one of the early runs. Uh, on the Lexus, it, uh, well, it ripped the bumper off and uh, threw the car down the mountain. The bumper's gone flying. You just about to see it bouncing around in the distance. Um, yeah, you've got to be careful if you're going to run that. The, uh, the, the terrain can sometimes cause some issues. As uh, I turned in a little too late for this uh, end bit, it's easily done. You don't really see that corner, it's kind of a blind turn in. You just sort of get used to it. And uh, that one there was uh, a little bit too late. And in doing so, such huge elevation changes was enough to uh, roll the Lexus over. I really like this car though. It's, uh, it had some of its issues, and as I said, going between the bike to this is always going to feel a little bit slow and perhaps a little bit sluggish even. But uh, for a car, this was very, very good to a drive down here. Little bit on the uh, oversteery side in a couple of places. You had to be a bit careful. There wasn't the huge amounts of rear end grip from the car that I would perhaps ideally like, but uh, on the most part, you are still carrying pretty decent speed around these uh, turns. You could chuck it in on the handbrake through the hairpin there and the Lexus was okay with it. The acceleration was very, very good and the brakes were, while not bike standard, were pretty damn good at uh, getting the car stopped. And it dealt with the bumps remarkably well also. I didn't have, often with the oversteery cars, sometimes taking these turns and bumping will be enough just to spin the vehicle, but I didn't have too many issues with that. It was sometimes just trying to put the power down, asking a little too much as all the horsepower wants to escape at once. That could uh, cause some issues for the LFA. Once you got the hang of that, though, it's uh, yeah, it was it was certainly manageable as we come down towards this uh, second to last corner, being mindful of the bushes. And this is where some of the worst bumps on the course are in the Lexus. So it, it jumps around, but it's not too bad. It doesn't get flicked sideways, not even the same way that the DeLorean did. And the Lexus is across the line, soars through the trees, jump on the brakes, and manage to get it stopped relatively controllably, uh, which is. Uh, <laughs> Impressive for this car. Yeah, it was a it was a really nice car to drive down the uh, down the mountain. I think it did a really good job. Yeah, you can spin the wheels up quite easily in this, as you see me uh, parking it back up here and very very nearly do a stupid thing and overshoot and go soaring off the mountain. But uh, yeah, I uh, I thoroughly liked driving the the Lexus down the mountain. It's just not quite got the grip or the brakes or the acceleration even of the of the motorbike but uh, it, it was nothing none of the cars ever have so uh, yeah it's a little bit of a tough act to follow when you uh, you go after a really quick motorbike but yeah it was good fun to drive much uh, much easier to drive in some respects than the DeLorean as well when it came to uh, getting down Chiliad
Anyway, it is on to the times, and we have a new leader. The Enduro has led this table for a very, very long time, but uh, the, the first motorbike mod I do, the Honda goes to the top of the table. A 110.8, it's a stupidly fast time down the mountain. Not particularly surprised by that. It was a super fast accelerating bike, fantastic brakes, and of course, all of that motorbike grip through the corners. It's seven seconds quicker than a Formula One car. The LFA, though, did admirably going into fifth, place. That's a fast time for a road car, 22.6. It is the same time as the Diablo. It's just a tenth of a second down on the Valira. It's a pretty damn good car, that, uh, that LFA. It did really, really well, despite being a little oversteery, perhaps, for for my likings. Yeah, a, a 22.5, uh, 22.6, sorry, is, uh, is a good time. Still, you know, almost 10 seconds, over 10 seconds down on that uh, motorbike. And the DeLorean is a fair way down in 78th, 35.1. While the acceleration was decent in the DeLorean, uh, certainly the, the caution you had to have to uh, avoid damaging the car was a little bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, just not quite the, uh, the quickest vehicle going down the mountains. And it beats the Batmobile, though, by, uh, by a tenth of a second, but a little bit down on the Windsor. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I'll put a link to all of the mods that I've used in the description so you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But uh, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.